excuse me. Um, I was back there looking at some like psychedelic art. And then I saw you walk by in your romper, I guess. Yeah. Thought you looked quite adorable. Thank you. Want to say hi? Hi. What's your name? I'm actually getting a romper on Tuesday to. Okay, let's move away from this. <laughs> I'm actually getting a a romper on Tuesday to uh, film a funny video with. Because like, how often do you see a guy wearing a romper? Hopefully never. <laughs> <laughs> Are you from Ireland? What the fuck? I'm exchange student. I'm just here for the weekend. Okay. Interesting. Interesting little mix. Yeah. Not much to do or even hiking or what? I uh, hiking Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> Netflix. Just stay inside. Yeah, really. You can't do anything there. That's why I travel the weekend. Chef's table on Netflix. Best thing ever. You're traveling with your school or what? No, I'm traveling alone. <gasps> oh my god, you're so brave. How do you do it? I just book a flight, <laughs> go on a plane, and be in the city. Oh, so crazy. Oh Where I do I go? go to Santa Monica to go on the metro to go to Staples Center because I watch the Lakers game in the evening. Mm -hmm. Okay. Are you going to a Lakers game? Yeah. Are you playing or no? No, it's just like, American people watch sports, so I've seen so ice be... I've seen football, basketball is missing, so I watch basketball tonight. Okay, um, and then you leave tomorrow morning? Uh, tomorrow morning I go to and at mm -hmm. about 4 I have to be at the airport. What are you doing tonight? I watch the Lakers game. <laughs> what are you doing after that? Um, there is a free drinks party at my hostel, I guess. Come out on Sunday night, W. You know the W? No. Where are you staying? At Holly in Hollywood. It's in Hollywood. It's called Jazz Night. So it's like they, basically you go up to the, this rooftop bar and, at the W and it's like you can see all of Hollywood. Okay. They play jazz music and like popular tunes. And then there's like dancers that dance to it. It's all free. And cool. they have like couches outside or like beds and shit outside where you can just like relax and like see the view. That's cool. Yeah, I could invite you if you want. But you know. So the hotel is called the W. The W. Yeah, it's the giant W in Hollywood. You've seen it. I haven't seen it. No. You've been wearing these sunglasses. You've yeah, been oblivious. <laughs> um, all right. So do you have a American number or? I do. Yeah. Okay, I'll take your American number, not your Austrian number. It's better. Yeah. Yeah, you can just fill out the short form, and I'll be with you. So is it like a private party or? No, it's it's public. You you should get there around ten. Okay. Yeah. I don't think we even introduced her. Austin. Hi, Austin. It was lovely meeting you. I'll give you a hug goodbye. Um, enjoy your Lakers game. Thanks. Try to play. Try to play if you can. Like I ask try, them. Yeah. All right. Cheers. Hey guys, this is Austin Summers here in Lisboa. Portugal, lock yourself into this video, learn from it, it's gonna be incredibly valuable for you. And what you're gonna see here is the only video you ever need to watch about day game. Make sure you subscribe to get more videos like this and hit the bell button to be a part of the notification squad. So after I get her number, I'll send her a text with my name and then a little bit later, I will send her something that calls back to the interaction. So it's a humorous thing that adds value that calls back to the interaction. Well, it was lovely meeting you. Nice to meet you too. I hope you have oh, a great workout. Like a little thug there. Yeah, well, I mean, you are thug. Um, and we'll hang out Saturday. Let's get bubble tea. And bubble then tea. perhaps afterward, we could go on a hike. Sounds perhaps. good. All right, All right, bye. I'll see you. And then you say something that kind of leads toward you meeting up with her. You propose the date plan, and in her mind, it's very, very clear. She has it in her phone. She can check it if she wants to. And she's like, yeah, cool, sounds good. Then she agrees, and then you kind of just keep it light and fun. Don't let the line go slack. Do not let it go one, two days without messaging her, because if you show up to the date, no one will be there except for you, and you'll be alone. So you got to keep it light and fun. Oftentimes, to solidify the number, I'll call the girl maybe the day after, later that night, um, two days after, and what that does is it basically reminds her of how she felt in the moment when she was with me. And also, it allows you to go deeper with her. When you get a girl's number and it's like one minute, two minute interaction, you can later call her up 
and boom, go into deeper stuff, go into rapport, get to know about her, you know, show her more of your humor, uh, find things that you connect on, and then once you have her on the phone, it's very, very, very easy to ask her to go out with you. So you call her, it's a light, fun vibe, you're cracking jokes, and then at the end, you say, by the way, let's get that bubble tea. Like, what, when are you actually free this week? I'm free Wednesday and Friday. Okay, uh, let's do Friday at 6 p.m. At, and we'll go to this place. This bubble tea place is fucking amazing. I think the, the lady makes the bubble tea out of her vaginal yeast. It's like very, very traditional <laughs> from Taiwan. It's just amazing. And uh, so once she's like, cool, yeah, that sounds great. Then you chat a bit more and then you leave on a high note. Hello. Hola, bon dia. Bon dia. <laughs> How are you? I'm good. You sound amazing. <laughs> when are you gonna start using your voice for like radio purposes? What are you doing hasta mañana? Does that mean? Until tomorrow? That means until tomorrow. What are you doing mañana? <laughs> I'm not sure yet. All right, would you like to hang out with Austin? That's me. Uh, I think so, yeah. We haven't seen each other and I've been here for like two months. What the fuck is this shit? I know, I know. I know. <laughs> Which celebrity do you think is the sexiest? Ryan Gosling. So Ryan Gosling comes on the show, says, what are you doing <laughs> He's later? He's married and has two kids. Yeah, that makes it even hotter. So. <laughs> no, it doesn't. <laughs> so, no, it doesn't. Go get pretty. Bye. Okay, bye. This is one thing that I did from the beginning. I remember hearing about this in a, in, a, in a guide. And basically every conversation I had, it was just, I'd say something, the girl cracks up. All right, I, I have to go. Um, yo, I'll see, I'll see you on, on Friday. And she goes, oh, fuck, like, can you, why, why do you have to go now? Or she'll be like, ah, uh, fine. And then you hang up and that's it. And then you leave on a high note. She's, so she feels the contrast between I was talking to him and then boom, I'm not talking to him and fuck, I wish I was talking to him because I felt so good. Build social momentum. I will have a guide coming out soon where I show you guys how I warm up in the daytime and how this process can work for everyone. No one can really, unless you're the most extroverted guy who's always on point, no one can just step out of their door and boom, be 100% on. So what I do is I kind of say, here's where I am and here's approaching a hot girl, um, let me kind of take some steps to kind of get warmed up. Now this doesn't mean that you're not enough and that, oh shit, you're just a piece of shit because you have to talk to some people. No, this means that scientifically, the brain takes about five to 10 minutes to warm up to a new task. So if you're at home coding in PHP or Python or C++ and then you step outside, it's gonna feel like a lot of resistance to just go talk to anyone. So take the first step, warm up your voice, warm up your verbal ability, start socializing, start approaching girls, and then use that energy that you've built up and share it with a hot girl. That's the process. So build social momentum. Another key point in the interaction is telling her to invest. So even if you have two minutes to spend with her, say, yo, tell me something cool about yourself. And then wait for her response. Some girls will just be like, oh, I'm Norwegian, that's cool. You could actually go further and be like, no, no, actually tell me something like about your personality, like who you are. Like what's something cool about you? Why should I decide to come to see you again? And she's like, uh, well, I'm, I'm like really funny and like da da da. And then she's qualifying because of that. Also, you should tell her something about yourself, something that distinguishes you and, and characterizes you so that she knows, like, in her mind, it's that name with that guy that has this quality. So it's like Austin, traveler guy. Lubo, vegan videographer. Or Joao, Portuguese conquistador. <laughs> Married to... Portuguese guy. Imagine that. Latin lover. Latin lover. Imagine that. Imagine that. Just, I'll let you ponder it for one minute, okay? I'll give you a minute, you'll think about it, and then you'll come back to me. So then in her mind, later, when, she, when she's like, 
uh, she's thinking about the interaction. She's like, ah, Lubo, the vegan guy. Man, I should meet up with him. As opposed to some random guy. I don't really know anything about him. Uh, he's kind of cool. I don't know. In her mind, it should, be, it should be very clear who you are, what you stand for, and why you should meet up with her. Qualify these girls. You're not trying to get every single girl, right? You're trying to get the girl that's right for you. So use qualification. Right now, write down five things that you want in a potential girlfriend. So for example, for me, I want a girl with a good sense of humor who doesn't give a fuck. I want a girl who's open-minded, adventurous, willing to try new things, intelligent, can have a discussion about deep topics. I want a girl who is nurturing and feels like this, I feel this compassion from her. And I want a girl who's just incredibly seductive and just like a sex nymphomaniac who just wants to fuck all the time, try new sex positions, fuck other girls with me, pick up girls with me, boom. So those are my criteria, what are yours? Write down five and then use those to qualify the girl. Like, you know, I like how open you are. You just have this like very good open vibe to you. Context, so have things that you are doing. You know, if you're advanced, have a very cool life. Have a, an instrument that you play, have a sport that you play, have some hobbies, something that brings joy to your life. Have cool friends that you go to hang out with. Do adventurous things in your city. Literally go onto Google Maps, look at monuments in your city, look at random places that you can go. Go there, take pictures, go with friends. Uh, the other day we were on the beach playing frisbee, having a good time. Uh, do things with your friends. And you wanna share this cool life on Instagram because you are partially your Instagram profile now. You are no longer a guy dating, you are a guy dating plus a content creator because her perception of you is her reality of you. So to take photos that have the best possible impact on online dating, Tinder, and to send a girls over messaging is to get a camera and then also get a photo editor. So a camera you can pick up for 200 bucks for an epic camera and a photo editor you can get for free. There's one by Google called Snapsy that you can download right now on your phone and edit your photos so they have the best possible impact. Some other things you can do in your life, go to lessons, learn a language, get outside, be outside a lot. And if you're outside a lot, that's where girls are. They're not always just, you know, naked in your house just wandering by. You actually have to go outside your house to meet them. And when you have a, a bouquet of things to do, then you can always use that um, in the interaction. Guys who are less available, girls chase more, right? If you make yourself too available, oh yeah, I'm just like, just lounging for the next three years. Got a full schedule, I'm open Monday to Friday, or <laughs> Monday to Sunday every week. Let's go on a date any day. She's gonna think, this guy doesn't even have things going on in his life. Also by having things in your life, they open takes care of itself. Yeah, I was just on the way to go grocery shopping and then I saw you. I was just on the way to meet my friends. Uh, we're going to the beach. You're like you have a backpack on, you have a hat, you have like a Frisbee and you're like, yeah, I'm just going to the beach. And she senses that you have a positive, abundant life, right? People don't want to be around people who have nothing going on in their life. And even for me, when girls are clingy or they stay around too much and they're like, Austin, can I stay over and then just like chill with you in the morning and like spend all day with you? I'm like, no, I have to work. I have to do things. I've got meetings. I've got students. Uh, I'm meeting with my friends later. Like I'm doing things. Not in a mean way to say that you don't have time for her, but in a way where it's like, listen, I have a lot of things going on in my life. But as a beginner, you need to get out and get as much face-to-face -face interaction as possible. Right? One is greater than zero. The more face interaction you have talking to a woman, doesn't matter, old, young, if you're flirting with a girl in any capacity, that's getting you closer to your goal. The more experiences like that you have, the faster you'll go to your goal. But as a beginner, you need to get a lot of that experience. So what's important is to go out and just the fact that you're out there with your wingman or your friend is good. So what I, what I used to do is just Bring a friend out, go out for a couple hours, make a day of it. You know, you're not just staying in one square, spam approaching every girl. 
but you're like, yo, let's go, let's go get food, and then let's go to the square, and then let's go to this park, and then maybe like, let's, uh, you know, you're actually doing things, moving around and trying out new areas, and it's actually more interesting for you, and it kind of takes away the creepiness factor for the girl. <laughs>